Okay, if you uh, if you suddenly find your Raspberry Pi isn't um, booting up properly, so let's just uh, have a look and see what I'm on about. We'll put the power cable in, and it looks as though everything's right. We've got the SD card in, the HDMI, the USB stick, it's all there. You plug the power in, and you get the red light. Okay, hopefully you can see the red light. But there's no green light, and if you look on the screen, the output, I've still got a blue screen. There's nothing going on there, no input at all. So it could be a number of things. Um, what I would suggest, first of all, is um, take out the power. Okay. And um, I mean, the chances are it's a problem with the SD card itself. Okay. Um, so what you would do is take out the SD card. Also, take out the HDMI cable. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, um, if you do have a problem, if you don't take the HDMI cable out, it occasionally it doesn't, um, it doesn't reset things. Uh, it somehow still seems to store it in memory what happened last time. So if you take the HDMI cable out, um, it will just reset everything back to how it was. Um, and you might find that that sorts your problem out. Um, you may also find that um, if that doesn't sort the problem out, then your SD card, it might be that it's uh, just got a bit loose, okay? So if we look at the back there, I don't know if you can make that out, it's not snug, it's not as tight as what it really should be. Um, and this does happen from time to time, um, especially, I found especially if you use a little adapter like this, so you can buy them from various Raspberry Pi places. Basically, what that is is a um, you stick a micro SD card in there, and you can pop it in your Raspberry Pi, and it means it's flush. So that would go in there, and that means it's flush. So you don't have any um, SD card poking out. However, I found that these do seem to loosen up the connections a little bit when going back to a standard size SD card. Right, my solution to that little problem if you've got the loose SD card which we have is um, you need to pad it out a bit at the bottom so what I'm going to use is uh, some of the Raspberry Pi cases come with these little um, rubber sort of feet little uh, little rubber things this uh, self adhesive type things so um, what I'm going to do is stick one on the top of the SD card okay so what that's going to do is give some pressure when I clip it into the case onto there. And just for good measure, I mean, sometimes you don't have to do this, but I know this one is particularly loose and this particular case is a little bit bigger than my usual cases. So sometimes you can get away with just one. But on the case, I'm also going to stick one, I don't know, sort of there. Yeah. About, round about there, so the SD card is here, um, and we have it sort of halfway down on the SD card. So, um, so we try that, and these little uh, rubber things, you know, you can, you can get them out of um, different hardware stores and that. They they also they're used in um, kitchen units as well, you know, so uh, um, to stop the uh, to stop the doors from slamming. So uh, yeah, you can you can buy them all over the place, but you don't have to use those. That's just what I had handy. And they're rubber, so so that's all good. So what you've got to do, this is going to be quite tight. Make sure it's all in place. There we go, that's that one in. Now this one is going to be particularly tight because we've got the pressure going on to that SD card. And we want it tight as well, so that's good. So, cool. There we go, that's in. Okay. So that is really nice and tight now, that SD card. So let's see if that's worked. Put the um, HDMI cable back in. And we'll put the uh, power back in. Can you see that? Green light just come on, which is promising. And we've got the open and left screen up. So that is a fix to, uh, to your problems there. Um, if that doesn't appear to be the case, okay, if that hasn't solved your problem, then um, the chances are you've managed to find an SD card 
that's just not compatible with the Raspberry Pi. So um, they do exist. It's very rare to find one. Uh, but I have come across a couple of really, really old ones that don't work. I've never come across a micro SD card that doesn't work. But the old ones I've got are very, very old. So what we've got here is this is out of an old camera. Can you see that? Very old 256 meg um, SD card. That is made by Microdia, whoever they are. And I've also got another little one here from Moby Memory. Um, and that's a 512 meg. But uh, but yeah, I mean, you, you've got to do really well to find one that doesn't work. You've got to be quite unlucky. Um, so that's, uh, that's really the, the main things that's going to be causing you um, problems if you don't have any output to your TV. Um, I suppose, actually, I better just quickly mention... Um, the other thing that can cause it, some TVs, um, well, quite a lot of TVs, in fact, they don't like um, they don't like you um, putting the Raspberry Pi in um, if the TV is not on the right channel to start with. So, for example, if you've got the HDMI cable in HDMI one, let's call it, in the back of your TV, when you put the Raspberry Pi on, if your TV isn't already on HDMI one it will never get the signal from the Raspberry Pi. So um, so that's another cause for it. So always make sure your TV is on the right channel and then power up your Raspberry Pi. Um, if you fail, if, if you, you know forget to do that um, and it uh, won't start up, then um, try the trick with taking the HDMI cable out and the power and the SD card, put it all back in again, and you should find it's up and running again. Okay, I hope that helps.